In this problem, we're asked to graph the linear equality inequality y is less than 5. So our first step is still the same. Graph the boundary line y equals 5. So that's a horizontal line at y equals 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dashed. Because it's non-inclusive. It's strictly less than. It's not less than or equal to. So there's our line y equals 5, dashed because the inequality is not inclusive. So y is, gr it, y is less than 5. We can test a point, but it, it, when it's horizontal, uh, if it's less than, it's going to be below. If it's greater than, it's going to be above. And, and if we had x uh, is less than or greater than some value, uh, we, we would always graph to the right. We would always shade to the right if it's a greater than, x is greater than a number, and to the left, if it's x is less than uh, a number. But we'll go ahead and test a point for good measure. So test a point. We'll test 0, 0. So is 0 less than 5? That's a true statement. We could test one above. You know, Let's say y is 6. Or we'll test the point uh, 0, 6, 2, 6, whatever value uh, of x that we want because there's no x in the actual equation. So is 6 less than 5? That's false. So that indicates that we would want to shade everything below our line. And for horizontal and vertical lines, it's really that simple. And this gives us the graph for y is less than 5. It's shaded below the line, the horizontal line, y equals 5. And the line is dashed because it's a non-inclusive inequality.